In the first four Jericho Forum identity videos, we learned about the concepts and principles for building an identity ecosystem. Now in the final video, we are going to look at what we need to change and develop to build a viable identity ecosystem using these concepts. Key to the trust in this whole ecosystem is the ability to immutably, in other words, enduringly and changelessly link an entity, the core identity, to a digital core identifier. So Tom can prove that Tom is Tom in the knowledge that no one can impersonate Tom, not even with his permission. This binding needs to happen in a form factor that both guarantees the binding is usable and provides the interfaces necessary to connect with the digital world. The technologies around cryptography, one-way trusts, and zero-knowledge proofs all exist, and some of these are already implemented. For example, in the Austrian government's EGIS program, a full specification with test examples will need to be developed for the cryptography to ensure that it works properly. For any cryptography to be accepted globally, it must be fully open, peer-reviewed, and published. This means it can then be implemented anywhere in the world, just as AES encryption today is a publicly accessible and open cipher. The trust ecosystem for asserting identity and attributes needs to be robust. This will allow entities to make assertions that relying parties can be confident in consuming and therefore use to make risk-based decisions. Agile roots of trust are key for the identity ecosystem to have the necessary levels of trust in entities, personas, and attributes. The internet is global, so for an identity ecosystem to work, it too has to be capable of being adopted and implemented globally. Therefore, the cryptography and standards must be fully open and royalty-free, so that all governments and interested parties can assure themselves, just as they can with the AES today, that it's open and there are no barriers to implementation. So in summary, are we able to build a viable identity ecosystem capable of global deployment? First, we believe the fundamental components already exist, and it is just a case of arranging them in a standardized format that will support the required model. It must also be open, fully peer-reviewed, and published. Second, the trust ecosystem is essential to widespread adoption. It must have a viable architecture and be sufficiently robust to scale to many billions of entities asserting their identity and attributes. Third, technologies to provide immutable linking exist, but usability experts need to collaborate with cryptographers and other stakeholders to agree form factors that are easy for everyone to understand and use, and cost-effective enough to allow widespread deployment. Fourth, an open implementation reference model needs to be developed and maintained by a neutral body, allowing anyone in the world to develop and implement identity ecosystem services. And finally, there needs to be a shift in thinking of the relying parties to receive, accept and use trusted identities and attributes from the identity ecosystem rather than needing to create, collect and verify this information themselves. Being able to consume trusted identities and attributes brings significant added value to relying parties as the data is up to date and from authoritative sources. This has an additional benefit that consuming identities and attributes which have a defined level of trust then allows the information asserted to be minimized, ensuring that any identity ecosystem is truly privacy enhancing. So now you understand the principles, read the Jericho Forum Identity, Entitlement and Access Commandments and use them as the test by which to evaluate your identity solutions.